Dear Esther, I have now driven the stretch of the M5 between Exeter and Bristol over 21 times. But although I have all the reports and all the witnesses and have cross-referenced them within a millimetre using my ordnance survey maps, I simply cannot find the location. You'd think there would be marks to serve as some evidence. It's somewhere between the turn-off for Sanford and the welcome brake services. But although I can always see it in my rear-view mirror, I have as yet been unable to pull ashore. Let's go down over here. <laughs> I have to wonder if my status on Twitch says I'm going to kill people. Like the walking felt slow at first. Not not anymore. Give me one second. I should adjust this because I'm not killing anybody. Dear Esther. I think I'm not going to kill people. Update. Even this ship and everything else, it's just, oh yeah. I, I, I try to stream every once in a while. Um, like, I did a lot of streaming last week for uh, Saints Row 4. What I do is, I take whatever I stream and I just export it to my YouTube channel. It's a lot faster than what I'd normally do, where I would just run fraps, and I'd have to go and edit that and render that. There must be a hole in the bottom of the boat. How else could new hermits have arrived? Yeah, it's a uh, it's 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 nice to it's nice to stream. Um, I mean, I can stream for seven hours on a weekend, and then I'll have plenty of footage to go and, and toss on YouTube for like the next After week. The operation, when I was still half submerged in anesthetic, split it into fifteen-minute chunks. Now my stones have grown into an island and made their escape and you have been rendered opaque by the car of a drunk. I guess we'll go to this path now. Oh, the music stopped.
I've begun to wonder if Donnelly's voyage here was as prosaic as it was presented. How disappointed not to have found the bones of the holy man. No wonder he hated the inhabitants so. To him they must have seemed like barnacles mindlessly clinging to a mercy seat. Why cling so hard to the rock? Because it is the only thing that stops us from sliding into the ocean. Into oblivion. I want to go to there. That red light. But I'll have to wander around these mountains. Oh, I must have missed a right turn over there. Oh, what's this? A steering wheel. Must have been that left turn at Albuquerque. Oh man, I tell ya, I cannot wait for the Oculus Rift. <laughs> I'm so tempted to get one of those developer kits for $300, but at the same time, they could still update the developer's kit after I've purchased one, so... Yeah. Oh. I've begun my ascent on the green slope of the western side. I hadn't realized. The mountain from the shaft, and understood that I must go up and then find the way under. I will stash the last vestiges of my civilization in the stone walls and work deeper from there. I'm drawn by the area on the cliff edge. There's some form of rebirth waiting for me there. Bothy was constructed originally in the early 1700s. By then, shepherding had formalized into a career. The first habitual shepherd was a man called Jacobson from a lineage of migratory Scandinavians. He was not considered a man of breeding by the mainlanders. He came here every summer whilst building the Bothy, hoping eventually that becoming a man of property would secure him a wife and a lineage. Donnelly records that it did not. He caught some disease from his malcontented goats and died two years after completing it. There was no one to carve white lines into the cliff for him, either. Do I have... I think I have that? I have a lot of games. <laughs> Three comrades seen at dusk. Yeah, yeah, I have it. 
this house built of stone, built by a long dead shepherd. Contents, my camp bed, a stove, a table, chairs, my clothes, my books. The caves that score out the belly of this island, leaving it famished. My limbs and belly, famished. This skin, these organs, this failing eyesight. When the battery runs out in my torch, I will descend into the caves and follow only the phosphorescence home. I've got probably about another hour left of streaming. I gotta take a make a trip to the bank in another hour or so, a bit later than that. But yeah, I could I could, I could definitely hop on a. I, I never really knew how to pronounce it. Rochard, Rochard. in a cave probably come out the other side just an assumption I want to go up there Rochard yeah I could see that Jacobson's rib cage. Can I told fall down, down there? Deformed, the result of some birth defect or perhaps a traumatic injury as a child. I think I could fall down there. Alone it was, and desperately light. Perhaps it was this that finally did for him, unable to contain the shattering of his heart. In half light, <laughs> his skeleton had discarded. <laughs> I'm going to find out. Whoa! I think I just killed myself. You can die! <laughs> Am I the only person to die in Dear Esther? They found Jakobsen in early spring. The thaw had only just come. Even though he'd been dead nearly seven months, his body had been frozen right down to the nerves and had not even begun to decompose. His fingernails were raw and bitten to the quick. They found the phosphorescent moss that grows in the caves deep under the nails. Whatever he'd been doing under the island when his strength began to fail is lost. He'd struggled halfway up the cliff again, perhaps in a delirium, perhaps trying to reach the Bothy's fire before curling into a stone and expiring. Well, now we're going to, uh, to another cave. Climbing down to the caves, I slipped and fell and have injured my leg. I think the femur is broken. It is clearly infected. The skin has turned a bright, tight pink, and the pain is crashing in on waves, winter tides against my shoreline, drowning out the ache of my stones. I struggled back to the bothy to rest, but it has become clear that there is only one way this is likely to end. The medical supplies I looted from the trawler have suddenly found their purpose. They will keep me lucid for my final ascent. <laughs> 